Heart disease has probably touched you or someone you know. More than 82 million Americans have one or more types of cardiovascular disease, a staggering but true statistic. That's why Atlanta and Company has partnered with Gwinnett Medical Center to develop a comprehensive series called Take the Pledge for a Healthier Heart to educate you about heart disease. All you have to do is log on to 11alive.com slash take the pledge and you'll find great information about getting active, eating smart, and reducing stress. By signing up, you'll also receive a free pedometer and be entered into a monthly drawing to win an iPod Nano. Dr. Manfred Sandler, Director of Cardiology at Gwinnett Medical Center, joins me now with an overview about heart disease. Welcome. Thank you very much, Christine. I'm so glad we're teaming up to bring awareness to such an important disease. And first and foremost, you are a cardiologist, so tell everyone exactly what you do. Well, as a cardiologist, there's a broad spectrum of things that we do. I personally call myself a diagnostic cardiologist. In other words, I will do a lot of diagnostic tests and I'll stop short of doing the interventions to say open blood vessels or prevent heart attacks or do the electrical parts of the heart. So primarily I'm there for preventative and diagnostic purposes. Okay, good. And of course, as we mentioned, um, you see a lot of patients with heart disease. Explain to our viewers what that is. Well, I'm gonna use this little prop that I brought today sure. to ex exactly explain it. There are three different parts of the heart that we deal with. Basically, the heart has an electrical system. It has a plumbing system, which is blood supply to the heart. And then it has a pumping system with valves. And I brought my little prop along. Basically, if you look at these red blood vessels that are on the outside of the heart, these actually supply blood to the heart. So if, you, if you're having a heart attack, it's actually a blood vessel on the outside of the heart. To, there we go. So it's the actually a blood vessel on the outside of the heart that has a blockage and completely blocks in the face of a heart attack and that's what we have to open when somebody has a heart attack. The actual pumping action of the heart is the muscle of the heart which can be damaged by a lot of things including heart attacks and there are four chambers to the heart. The main muscular chambers are the left side and the right side. The left side is more important than the right side. Why is the, that? The left side pumps blood to the whole body, to the brain, to the kidneys. The right side pumps blood to the lung and it's a more resilient system. It's a lower pressure system. Okay. So you can stand to, no damage, uh, you stand, stand to damage much more on the left side than the right side. Okay. And then if you happen to open the doors of the heart, they're valves four valves, two that lead out of the heart, one called the aortic valve that takes blood to the body, and then one takes blood on the right side of the heart called the pulmonary valve that takes blood to the lungs. In between the upper and the lower chambers of the heart on either side, there are separate valves. And basically, as cardiologists, we deal with the heart in, in in all its uh, entirety. Now the electrical system makes the heart beat. There's a beat from the upper chamber which goes through the middle wall of the heart, beats the lower chamber, creates a pulse in the body. So that primarily is what we deal with with heart disease. But as the heart's basically a muscle, but the blood vessels that lead out of the heart, we take care of all of it. So uh, the vascular disease has expanded beyond the area of the heart for cardiologists. We open blood vessels going to the brain. We open blood vessels going to the legs. We work in conjunction with vascular surgery for people who have aneurysms or right. ballooning out of mm -hmm. their blood vessel, which is also a significant killer. Now, is there a cure for heart disease? Well, that's a good question. I mean, heart disease that we're talking about here, heart disease that causes heart attacks, heart disease that causes muscle problems of the heart and valve problems, there's not a cure, but there's treatment. Sure. Obviously, there are some heart diseases that get better with time, and hopefully we can move the patient on. But primarily, the heart diseases that is broadcast and the number one killer of people in America, there's not a cure, but there's some treatment. Okay. And one of the things I've always heard is that the signs for when women and men having heart attacks are a little bit different. So talk about that. What are the warning signs that people need to be aware of? Well, let me say this, Christine, we'd love the heart to read the textbook because then us as doctors wouldn't have much problem. <laughs> right. So if somebody comes in and they said, I'm having this chest pain and, and makes this sign is called Levine sign, put it on their chest, that is typical heart pressure. And it doesn't really have to be pain. It can be pressure, it can be tightness. And that's the classic symptom. Associated with that, you can have shortness of breath, you can break out in a cold sweat, you can feel sick to your stomach, or unfortunately even throw up. The heart, when it's developing embryonically, comes from the neck. So the heart drags all its nerve supply down from the neck, as does the arms. 
as does the jaw. So that's why some people, typically more women than men, can present with atypical symptoms. You can have toothache, you can have indigestion, you can have arm pain, you can just have nausea. So the important thing is to be educated about sure. all of these symptoms and say, oh, well, I'm just having indigestion, I'm just going to carry on, and the next minute you have a heart attack, oh, or I've, I've got pain in my shoulder, I'm just going to go see an orthopedic surgeon. So the heart does present in different ways. And luckily, right there again, we have the website, 11alive.com slash take the pledge. People can find out all sorts of information, again, just so we can be proactive and knowing that if you are feeling a certain way and you're not used to feeling that way, you might be having a heart attack. So it's important that we become aware of the risk factors. And what can we do to help lower the risk? Because I know some of it is hereditary in terms of conditions of our heart, but other other times it's just the way we live our life, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think that in this day and age, it's absolutely vital that the patient takes command of their body and takes care of themselves. We have something in cardiology called TLC, which is not tender love and care. <laughs> right. It's therapeutic lifestyle changes. So you've, if you're going to take care of yourself, you've got to eat healthily. You've got to exercise. The American Heart Association recommends 30 minutes of exercise five times a week minimum in order to get your heart healthy. So there's controllable risk factors sure. called high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, cholesterol problems. What, what you can also control is smoking. Smoking is an absolute, is an absolute no, no. I know. What you can't control is getting older, and genetic if you inherited it, but those are the other controllable things. Control the controllables. What we can do, we need to do, which are the, the easy things I say, the eating right, the exercise, watching your blood pressure, watching your cholesterol. And for those people who do suffer, unfortunately, from heart disease, and if they do need medical care, uh, GMC is actually building a new heart center. So tell us about that. Well, that's very exciting. I mean, we have waited years and years to provide the community with, with everything that they need within the community in terms of heart health. And we started in March of this year by interrupting heart attacks by doing stents and interventions. Right. Currently, probably the busiest hospital in Georgia for that, which and doing a really good job at it. We're expanding our services to do open heart surgical services. So we're building a state of the art 40,000 square foot building which is gonna have everything in it, but that's not as important as having the right staff and the right people to do it. We mm -hmm. have excellent staff applying for jobs all over, and we have wonderful physicians and surgeons that are gonna take care of our community. Doctor, thank you so much. This is great, valuable information. Please come back again. Thank you We'd very love much. to have you back. And to learn more about the Heart and Vascular Center, you can log on to GwinnettMedicalCenter.org slash cardiac. And this segment was paid for by Gwinnett Medical Center.